the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to another new day. Today is the sixth Sunday in ordinary time, and the theme of our reflection is Love the Unlovable, Touch the Untouchable. Our reading today contains the Christian teaching on the need for social acceptance, especially when people are different from us. They also tell us that it is purity or holiness of soul coming from God that cleanses our life. That is why the first reading teaches the theme of freedom from bodily and ritual impurity as a sign of internal holiness. But we don't become holy by some ritual observances. We become holy by confessing our sins to God and offering our lives for God's glory and by sharing God's love with everyone around us without discriminating against anyone based on color, region, tribe, religion, lifestyle, or social status. Our first reading presents us with the theme of freedom from bodily and ritual impurity as a sign of internal holiness. This freedom is symbolized by the precaution against contracting leprosy given in the first reading and by the healing of the leper described in the gospel. The first reading shows the ancient Jewish attitude towards leprosy and gives the rules for the segregation of lepers. This provides a background for Jesus' healing of a leper. In the second reading today, St. Paul exhorts us to become holy by doing everything for the glory of God and by showing sensitivity towards others who are different from us rather than passing judgment on them. St. Paul calls us to follow our own conscience carefully without condemning others or trying to change their behavior. He says, I try to please all in any way I can by seeking not my own advantage. We too, my brothers and sisters, must follow the example of Paul and Jesus, responding with sensitivity towards others who are different from us, rather than by passing judgment or ignoring them or excluding them from our neighborhood or our society. Because the glory of God is served when God's people serve one another and live in loving unity. In today's gospel, it describes how Jesus healed a leper, liberating him both from the disease of leprosy and from the unjust human, social, ritual, and religious isolation to which lepers are subjected to in the time of Jesus. According to some church fathers, one reason Jesus promptly responded to the cry of the leper, ignoring the Mosaic law prohibiting touching a leper and thus becoming un- and thus becoming ritually unclean, is that Jesus identified himself with the man's condition. Jesus dramatically identified himself with the sufferer and the total rejection and isolation within for him. The irony here is that Jesus risks becoming unclean in order to make the leper clean. Just as he stretched out his hand to the leper and touched him and made him whole, Jesus stretched out his hand on the cross and made us whole. He touched the leper, thus bridging the gap between that which is unclean and that which is clean, identifying himself with all lepers, with all those who are, ritual, who are ritually and socially unclean and isolated, and with all of us sinners who are spiritually unclean and have no way to change our condition except through his sacrifice and mercy. Thus, he became unclean in the eyes of the law, that we might be made clean. Jesus allowed himself to be rejected by his family and people so that those who are separated from God might return to him and be healed. My brothers and sisters, we need to trust in the mercy of a forgiving God who assures us that our sins are forgiven and that we are clean. We are forgiven and made spiritually clean from the spiritual leprosy of sin when we repent of our sins because God is a God of love who waits patiently for us. The only condition required of us is that we ask for forgiveness with a repented heart. We are sure to hear his word of absolution very well 
your sins are forgiven and you are clean, echoed in the sacraments of reconciliation. We are called to tear down the walls that separate each from other and build bridge of loving relationship. We are called to welcome the outcasts and the untouchable of our society. This includes those, those people marginalized, imprisoned, the poor and the needy. God's loving hand must reach out to them through us. We just want to touch their life through us. My brothers and sisters, let us ask God to give us the grace to love the marginalized in our society and to touch those whom the society has rejected. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God bless you.